Alistair here with All Spa Repairs and the Hot Tub Shop. Okay, you drained your hot tub, you filled it back up, now it won't work properly, you can't get your jets to go, you're getting some weird codes, so you can't get, uh, it's flow, it's dry, there's no heat. You probably have an airlock. So let's talk about the simple ways of fixing that. So down below in your hot tub, you're gonna have obviously the pump, okay? You're gonna have typically one or two, okay? One of the pumps is gonna take the water in here, out here, and through your spa pack. It's gonna be a plastic box with a metal tube, and then from there it returns the water to typically all of or half of your jets. What's happening is, in here you're getting a pocket of air. So the water's coming in, your impeller's spinning inside here, but it's not able to create any flow because of that pocket of air that's trapped in there. Now typically, with a pump like this, you're gonna find bleed nipples, okay? And they look like you should be able to put a little flat nose screwdriver in here. Typically though, the plastic's not very strong, and when you try to undo the bleed valve with a screwdriver, you end up wrecking it. Better to grab a pair of channel locks or pliers or monkey wrench or whatever you can get your hands on and you use this to crack those open and bleed out the air. You can undo it. I wouldn't recommend taking it all the way out because what's gonna happen is the water pressure is gonna blast out of your hand and you're gonna lose that nipple somewhere inside your hot tub. Just unleash it until you start hearing the air come out. You'll hear it coming out like that. Even wait till you start getting water to come out and then go ahead and dial it back down. Now, these wet ends come in different orientations, straight up, or this comes out this way, or goes off that way. Really, they're all the same. You just wanna locate a bleed nipple, ideally, up top, so you can let the air out, okay? If that isn't working, this will be the other part you see, okay? This is the union that attaches the rest of the plumbing, okay? This time, with a flat nose screwdriver and a hammer, you can place it gently on the ring and tap it till it becomes loose. And again, you just back it off until you start hearing the air, water starts gurgling out, tighten it back up again, and turn it back on. Once you turn your hot tub on, cycling your pump from low speed to high speed and back again helps to purge the air out of the system, getting up and running, and then you should see all those jets coming on like they were before. <clears throat> if you're getting a dry or a flow or no heat, but all your jets are working, typically that means you have a circulating pump. This is a separate system on its own. It does not return to all of your jets. So what you'll see is you'll, you'll think the hot tub's working fine, but why am I not getting any heat? Probably because you have a circulating pump. And it's the same process. You want to locate those bleed nipples. You want to take off your unions. You want to bleed the air out. And away you go. Hopefully, that will help. And if not, well, maybe your impeller broke. Who knows? Maybe your heater crapped out. In which case, give us a call. We're happy to come out and take a look. Remember, we here at All Smart Repairs in the Hot Tub Shop. Happy hot tubbing.